cancer in our streets. Hey, sugar, what are you looking for tonight? Welcome, gentlemen. Why don't you take a seat? Rumors got it. You got the best Peruvian marching powder in town. There is a line between good and evil. Why don't you get on your knees and show us how you pray? Now it's time to take the streets back. My time's over, boys. Time to go home. 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 Last night in downtown LA, an estimated $15 million of cocaine went up in smoke due to a mysterious individual. In his left hand, a Bible. In his right hand, a gun. There was another one of those horrible murders. They found this girl drained of her blood. Now, a psychopathic killer... All I want is a new friend. ...is on a cannibalistic rampage. <laughs> Do you believe in life after death? Yes. He has possessed the city. I'm invincible, baby. And the only way to stop his terror is to face his evil. Open the gates of hell. For I'm the right hand of God. But the cops can't do the job, somebody has to. My God. What is this world coming to? I make a lot of money, you know. The government's been after me a long time. Nobody can get me. Why the priest uniform? I'll bet you a hundred bucks she's a virgin. God forgives. <laughs> but I don't. The doctor set up a racket. We didn't stick around. Sir, Tom Ryder got an ass full of fence. It wasn't his fault. Oh. Well, you take a look at the cage, and if you're asking me, it was open from the inside. You're not serious. No damage. It's all right. Just a big dose of sedative. We caught out with him before we went to ground. You are bloody lucky. It wasn't my we'll fault. We'll talk about this tomorrow. <laughs>
pick it up. This is Peter Carson. I'm sorry, but I'm not home at the moment. If you leave a message after the tone, I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thank you. It's Tracy. Call me at the clinic as soon as possible. Please. New. I'm making coffee. Is the boss having any? He is. Spit on it for me, will you? I always do. Yeah, I'll have a cup. I didn't realize we had chimpanzees. It's not something we advertise. Next thing you know, there'd be busloads of hippies with placards and, you know, or worse. Can I have a look? No, give me a break. I'm already in trouble. Is it that serious? It's that serious. Dr. Jenner said he was going to tell me anyway. Well, let's just leave it at that. I'll get the coffee. Hello. Who let you out?
Engine off, please, sir. Engine off! Where are you heading? Uh, the, the Jenner Clinic. Yeah, do you work there? Uh, no, but, but um, I, I have a friend who does. What's your name? Oh, yeah. Peter Carson. Right, turn your car on, Mr. Carson, follow me, don't try and pass me. Tell you that there's apparently been an accident and a fire, and that's all I can tell you right now. Knows it around, sir. The back is even. Bloody hell! It's Magnum P.I. Oh, shut up! Five more minutes that have been on the plane. Yeah, but think of what you'd missed. Where's the chief? Uh, he's in the schoolhouse, and he wants to see you right away. Where's this this bad? You better believe it. Who's your friend? Oh, put him somewhere for me. When I found him on the road, said he was visiting one of the staff. Did he bring a wreath? On this way. Just wait here, sir, till somebody comes to see you. Oh, what is all this? Look, give... I want to see Miss Tracy Pickford now. Look, this isn't helping anybody. Just wait here, sir. They're not giving anything away. He's trying to get something out of them for hours. Are you from the clinic? My wife is. I left her there last night. It's when I hear something really funny. The longer it gets, the less I want to know. No, I'm sorry. No, you're really trying to make me feel Shaffer, D.I. Stonehill in there? Yes, sir. How many of these have you got? Nine, sir. Mike, good holiday. <sighs> Was it the airport? What is this? Massacre. I've seen no like it. What do we know? No. No suspects, no motives, nothing. But somebody walked through that place and chopped the lot of them. Every last one. Press? Locals only so far, nothing we can't contain. Fertility clinic. Life's never simple, is it? I want you to organise a search of all the farms in the valley, see who saw what. Check round the outbuildings in case Jack the Lad's gone to ground. Think there's a chance? Never know. We had this place sealed within half an hour and I've had the helicopter checking over the tops. Now took there but cheap dudes and grass. Well, don't call it watertight. I picked up someone coming in on the Lake Road. Who? Said his name was Carson. Did he? Do you know him? No. Well, I think we ought to. Take that stuff into the schoolhouse. Number seven, please. We haven't got identification on this one. 
Do you recognize her as Tracy Pickford? Thanks, Chief. Well, we've checked DSS records. Nine staff on the books, nine bodies on the ground. One of those is a patient, which means there's either one staff member still to find I or... I want them found, dead or alive. Message from Chief Constable. There's a man called Hennessy on his way up from London. And he's coming straight here. Hennessy? Nah, some shiny ass from Whitehall, from what we can gather. I know who he is. He's trouble. There's a bloke in the schoolhouse. Get his statement. Hennessy. No, it isn't. What number did you dial? Well, dial again. Get it right. And that's the news for the region. Coming up next, today's farm prices. But first, the weather from Adrian. Something I can live without. Who's that? Come on, who is it? What happened here? What's it look like? Who are you? Don Johnson. Clinic? Yes. Come sit in the van for a moment, please. I'll, uh, I'll call you a car. Suits me fine. All right, then I'll put it in words of one syllable. All your men out. You've got the place like a circus. We're dealing with a major incident here. We're dealing. I'm taking over. You? That's a joke. I don't make jokes. I won't do a damn thing for you, Hennessy. That's exactly the way that I want it. Now, stand by to vacate the area with a minimum of fuss. It won't wash. What about all the press? We've put a D-notice on it. You have got something to hide here. The investigation will continue, but you'll hand it over to my team of specialists. Shall we get started? Everybody out here! Come on, I want everybody! 
Come on, out here. Come on, come on. I pay attention, because I don't intend to repeat myself. Right, firstly, I want you to know you've done an excellent job here today. Many of you are unused to this kind of setup and you've been thrown in the deep end. So what I've got to say bears no relation to your performance here today. Now I want all this stuff out and back on the vans. Every last drop of it. Communications, get on the radio and call everybody in. I mean everybody. Right. That's all. I said hand over, Stonehill. I didn't say abandon everything. What about an explanation? Oscar Ford, Oscar Ford. Hello, Crichton here. Charlie, are you with Sheffer? Yeah. Everybody's called back. Yeah? How's business then? Don't even ask. Got radioactive sheep. Can't sell them and I can't get compensation. Otherwise, life's just rosy. Got every farmer around a Mercedes. Ah, some do. Mm. I better get on. I'll be at the barn if you want me. Fine. Fine. Calling us back. The chief's calling everybody back. Why? He didn't give a reason. He just doesn't want us messing about. She make his bloody mind up. Who are you? I'm Peter Coyson. Who are you? Alison Wells. I worked here. Really? Did the police let you through? Were you here when... Uh... I was supposed to be. I had to identify them. All of them. I was a... Uh... friend of... Uh... What happened here? There was a fire. The propane tank went up and took most of the roof with it. Boy, you know, I saw Tracy. And she doesn't look as if she's been in any fire! I'm sorry. Let's just get out of here. Let me give you a lift.
Obviously, because of their expertise in detective work. And I was just thinking it was just a baby farm. I know. You know, what I really don't like is that we're not being trusted. That's an insult. It'll get out in the end. Ah, you know, it works. Put out some stories, discredit our witnesses. Anyway, it's yesterday's news, so who gives a toss? Right. And so what really happened? I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna leave a token presence. One man, telephone, and all the information we've managed to gather so Good idea. Good idea. Me! There's a phone in the office. I'll get you a bed and a stove. You'll be better than home. I'm on holiday. Your wife's on holiday, your kids are on holiday. You miss the plane. You've stitched me up, haven't you? Mike, I need somebody here. If I can have my best man on the ground, that's a bonus. Eh, uh, you shouldn't be here. You knew she was. Checking up. You've got a record, Mr. Forrester. I was 19. I hit a bloke for something he said to her. Only had to ask. thing in them. Any of them. Not one solitary dumb thing. Don't you think that's strange?
I'm not hungry. Stop bottling it up. Talk to somebody. Even if it isn't me. I just can't believe it happened. What happened? I've been with Jenna for years. I don't know anything else. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You and Tracy. Were you? She didn't even know the half of what was going on. It should have been me instead of her. Somebody's got binoculars on the yard. Any trace? Yeah, it's the copper. I can pull him if you want. Is he causing problems? Nothing we can't handle. No, I'll leave him be for now. Didn't want to waken you. I need to sleep. What time is it? Just gone ten. I've got things I've got to do. I'll drive you. No. No, thanks. What's going on here, then? We're having a tea party. Has Toby Dog been here with you? No. Only goes missing when you need him. Bloody sure that dog can read minds. Whose birthday is it? It's a tea party for Mr. Scarecrow. Mr. Scarecrow? I'll survive. Look, uh... If there's anything at all I can do, you know, d don't don't hesitate. Thanks. And thanks for last night. No, that was nothing. Uh, do you think there's going to be an inquest? What? What? Well, I mean, there's going to be an inquest, hasn't there? I've, I mean, that is the law. I've no idea. Look, you might as well know, I heard them at the school and they were talking about pulling the top policeman off the case. And he was less than happy. What else did you hear? Not as much as I'd have liked. Were you hoping I might be able to fill in a few blanks for you? No, 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 listen, please. What then? Am I being interviewed because you can forget it? I don't know what happened. I don't want to know. I don't even want to think about it, so just drop it, Peter. Whatever you heard, forget that as well. If you won't do it for my sake, you better do it for your own. These aren't the kind of people you mess around with. What kind of people would they be? You're stirring up trouble and you'll get hurt. Just leave it alone. You've still got the chance. 
Too many trees, it's one of the bad spots. Mm. Scrambler Rover. Nice work. Davis. Just the copper on the move. Don't worry about him, he's heading the wrong way. Mr. Hennessy, it's Alison Wells. There's nothing I can tell you from Tammy. I'm calling about Peter Carson. I talked to him this morning. I don't know, but I think it'd be sound. I did my best to warn him off. Nothing too explicit, I trust. Oh, don't worry. I was the soul of discretion. But he'll be left alone now, right? Whatever's appropriate. You take the chance to unwind. I'll be in touch when I need you again. I made a list of names. I want you to see if you can get me a background on any of them. Usual kind of thing? No. This is something different. Dave, 
I'll give it to Dave Reynolds. Mr. Carson, I don't think you know it, but you are. What do you mean? Jenner's easy enough. He's all public domain. But Hennessy's something else. What have you got on him? Nothing yet, apart from tracing his pool car. There's resistance. I can get round it, but it won't be legal. The question is, are you willing to go that far? Whatever it takes. I know a couple of high flyers who can get to the information, but money won't buy them. What will? Heroin. Oh, but we, we don't have to get involved. I just trade them the names of some contacts. One question. Is it ethical? No, no, no. Will it work? It'll work. Now you tell me something. Why? Call it unfinished business. Look, I'll get some cash to the office and you get to work on Hennessy. See what you can find out about Jenner. You're the boss. Yeah. I didn't want to start us off on the wrong foot. So how'd you find me? In the phone book. Apart from that, I haven't found out a damn thing. How about you? Same. Have you spoken to anybody? Hardly anybody. I've been banging my head against the brick wall. So we'll come down here to talk to the press. Maybe they think I'm inventing some kind of a hoax. They keep passing me off to rival newspapers. And nobody seems to bite. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I don't even know what day it is anymore. I saw how she was. Didn't die in any accident. She was killed. And now they're being protected. The talk of murder here. And nobody but me seems to give a toss. What do you want from me? I want us to team up. You can't ignore us both. Look. I'm at the end of the line. You were there. You got to move about more than I did. Did you see anything? Did you hear anything we can use? Not a thing. You're stalling on me, why? Look, hey? all you seem to want is blood. Now what'll do me, what'll satisfy me, is justice. Blood's the only justice we'll get. Because everything else is just bookkeeping. You do it your way. You keep your conscience clean. 
Because that will suit them just fine. Camping gas. Well, it should be in tomorrow. Can you last out? Oh, yeah, I'll burn the furniture. What's going on out there? I wish I could tell you. Well, nobody's happy, I can tell you that. You want to hear my boss on the subject? Could they stop us writing to our MP? It's a free country. It's a free country, all right. We're a practice ground for the RAF. We've got that bloody monstrosity on the coast poison the sea. Half an hour before the nuclear train comes through, my brother's phone goes dead. Every time. Can you tell me why? Depends. Hey, on what, though? Do you remember a CND? Won't touch it. I've been to a communist country. Nah. And what about Yugoslavia? Holidays don't count. You got a motorbike? When I was younger. Well, they are, then. Things like that find their way onto a file. It's like a point system. A motorbike? Potential member of a counterculture. And you didn't hear it from me. Phew, we're a free country, all right. Free to do as you're bloody well sold. Please. You're on your own, Peter. There's no school. I was thinking of that bag. It'll be heavy with all this. I'll manage. Hey, what's this say here? Fruit. We need lots. Well, there's an eye in fruit. Did you write it in? It was my dad. Your dad? Here, I'll make that up. Give it your bag, Peter. Dave Reynolds again. I've set wheels in motion. I've got contact for you to talk to. I don't want to discuss it on the phone. Uh, you want another meeting or, or what? Hello? Research is cooperative. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'd like to um, speak to David Reynolds, please, as soon as possible. Got a human face. And Mr. Hennessy as well. Detective Inspector Schaffer, one of Stonehill's men. I'm Captain Windler, in charge of the special unit. Why are you here, Schaffer? Yeah, I've been watching the circus. I know you have. Well, it's the only way into and out of the valley. If we want to move something, or somebody, we have to do it through the village. We've nothing to hide from the police, Mr. Schaffer. Or from the public? We have to move carefully. This isn't an ordinary manhunt. You're telling me. You checked on a number of the valley farms, is that right? A few, didn't finish. If you give me the list, we'll finish it now. Well, it's a bit late, isn't it? We've got everything pretty well sewn up. Nothing's happened that we don't know about. He's gone. He'd just be one of the crowd by now. I really don't think so. This is one case where a waiting game's the only one to play. Mr. Hennessy, sir, there's a call for you. It's urgent. So what exactly are you waiting for? A homecoming. Yes. London called. I got this from Carson's phone. I got your message. Who's this contact? She's just a starting point. You know Gregory's cafe around the corner? Yeah, I've been passed. I'll see you there as soon as you can make it. What do you reckon? Well, we can't have that. Tell London to jump on him. So who's this contact? My name's Diane Romer. I've already been in touch. She says she'll talk to you. What is she? I don't know how you describe it. Ex-associate, I suppose. She's an academic. He worked with Jenner in the same department before he went commercial. Kill yourself. That'll live longer than you. Good. What did Jenna work on? Thesis work on the sexual impulse. 
He castrated cats without anaesthetic. What did he find? It took him three years to decide that it put them off. I'm not talking about an academic high flyer. He, he got a dodgy medical qualification from somewhere abroad. And then he just went from grant to grant doing low grade research, confirming other people's results mostly. Then he got into Lowski's insulin project. You get more from Diane. She was pretty helpful on the phone. Who's this, uh, Leah? Lowski? Yeah. Nominated for a Nobel, but he didn't get it. Dead and gone. She's most inconsiderate of him. What about Hennessy? Neither dead nor gone. It's really too early to say. Give me time, we'll crack him. I didn't think you'd be coming back. You know what they say about bad pennies. I didn't know Jenna personally. I was just around when he was around. That's as close as it got. I was just an undergrad then. All I knew of him was in-house gossip and his reputation. Which was? As a main chancer, mostly. He had an eye for fashion and a nose for money. The many like that. Same as you get in any profession. Not many. That's the trouble with the great British public. They expect anyone in a white coat to be Jacob Brunowski. What did Jenner work on when he was here? Human insulin, using genetic engineering to try to produce it. It's old hat now, but it was hot stuff in those days. Oh, I don't know. It just doesn't add up. It makes, makes no sense to me at all. Give you an example of the way Jenny used to work. He started off on the project as a junior, just another physiologist on the team. Four years go by, and he's as good as running the show. Then there was some big falling out with the project director. They took it to the dean. And who's the one who goes? Presumably not Jenner. <laughs> Absolutely. It broke poor old Liaski. Is that what killed him? Well, Liaski isn't dead. He may be demented, but I don't think he's dead. Stuff, eh? Why couldn't he stick to Douglas bloody Fairbanks? Well, you're not happy. No, I'm not. Where'd you get this? Quiet spot of leakage from the patent office for that one. Other contacts for the rest of it. I've got a business to consider. I've got a lease and two telephones. I'm half a respectable. You want to drop it? I think we should. This is all danger, no glory. When are you seeing him again? What do you want?
Mr. Lievsky? Someone to see you. Mr. Lievsky. Dr. Lievsky. Find somewhere better? Who have me? I've no family, not very much money, and all the bad days. I don't know how I'd cope. You seem okay to me. Well, this is where I live, not here. This whole situation is just bad wallpaper. Of course, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Jenna. But you know that already. Everybody does. What exactly happened? I took him in, treated him well. He had an average mind and a good way with animal data. I was spending so much time out of the department, raising funds, attending to meetings, that I never knew what he was doing until it was too late. He was picking people off one by one and winning them over. My own project was being redirected, and I didn't even know it until it was too late. How could he do that? Science is sex, Mr. Carson. Behind all the cold print and the dull journals, there's passion and jealousy and the terrible, terrible fear of unimportance. Jenna had come up with something far more seductive than I could ever offer. How many people were involved? A dozen in all. Mostly the medical staff. They were the ones he took with him when he set up that bogus clinic. Come on, let's go and entertain the troops. What do you mean by bogus? Jenna had no interest in human fertility any more than he had an insulin project. With the clinic, he had the right kind of staff, the right kind of labs, and an inexhaustible supply of his raw material. And the right kind of friends. Oh, yes. Always the right kind of friends. Would you mind? No. Oh, uh... oh, don't worry about them. Those that aren't stupid are stone. Those that aren't either get tied to their chairs. <clears throat> I fake it when I have to. Yeah. It's um, after this. <laughs> Let it run for a minute. <laughs> no, no, no. I prefer beer. Come on. <laughs> oh, God. Who did oh. make these sandwiches? When was this? I forget exactly. There he is. He's not Jenna. Mm. Oh, no. What? Come on, I'm nearly finished. This he time. had won over on, most of them, even then. Oh, no. I was probably the only one there who didn't know. The irony is that I'd started him on the way. I'd approved the first stages of hybridization, but only as bench experiments to observe the rejection mechanism that would take place. There was never any question of assembling a complete hybrid DNA. If I'd thought it possible, I'd have vetoed it. Are you saying that Jenna put together a transgenic organism? Uh, what? A chimera, it's um, an animal with the hybrid DNA of two different species. The species barrier had been crossed before, but never successfully with a predominantly uh, human component. Good God. Is, is that feasible? <laughs> it depends who you talk to. Some researchers deny it's possible. Some deny it so fast they don't even wait for the question. Yeah. As I understand it... Here's the part I wanted to see. 50 hybrid. 
It is predominantly a private. What do you make of all that? If you'd have asked me yesterday, I'd have said give it 50 years. I wouldn't have thought it was possible. Oh, anything's possible. Not everything's legal, that's all. What would it be like now? I doubt if it lived. I mean, you saw it. Say it had lived. Who knows? God, the pavement would be worth billions if you could get it through. Billions? Well, you could experiment on them like people, but without any of the ethical problems. Harvest them for transplant organs, send them wherever there's radiation. No votes, no strikes, no rights, no problems. God, this thing could be bigger than the silicon chip. And for once, we're ahead of the States. Do you approve of all this? I don't approve or disapprove. I'm a scientist. And as far as science goes, this is about as sexy as it gets. What are you going to do now? I don't know. And do you have any contact with Jenner at all? rather difficult. Because if you do, I'd really like to get to him. Will you fix that for me? Go on, admit it, you owe me one. Somebody getting out of the cab. Could you copy this tape for me? Um, it won't take long. Uh, just no, three, four I minutes. Don't know about three, that. four minutes. Look, um, that's all I'm going to tell you for. Please, it's important. I'll have a look and see. Cheers, mate. As I understand it, this is not a 50-50 hybrid. It is predominantly a primate with a human genetic element inserted at some point. The viability of the creature was, as I understand it, due to a fluke. Jenner has since tried to repeat his results, but without success. Anyway, let's have a look. This is still an infant, but we can already see that it is radically different in form and structure from a human infant or a chimpanzee. No particularly the shape of the skull. The left hand is deformed, as is also the spine. Handling of the limb seems to cause it some pain. 
It has vocal cords, but it cannot articulate. It is developing rapidly. If it continues to be viable, I estimate that it should reach a stage resembling adulthood in about 10 to 12 years. These should start you off. Thanks. What do they cover? All the main European news agencies. What about the States? I'm trusted for those. Most of them have London Bureau, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose they do. What is it? Job applications? Uh, yeah. Yeah, something like that. your turn. Check, Tom. I can have your attention. Dr. Halsby. Yes, good news, I'm happy to say. Out of the latest batch of cloned embryos, we have three that are developing normally. Two are already frozen, one is ready for implant. Now, I don't have to tell you what this means to our project. It will no longer be tied to a single specimen and we'd have demonstrated that we have a product for potential mass manufacture. And we've been banging our head against this particular gate for so long and it's hard to believe that it's opened. But there it is. And we have the host mother in the patient wing now. Marie Forrester. Right, procedure. We we'll monitor events and then induce a spontaneous abortion after 21 weeks. We transfer the fetus to intensive care and then carry out a second implant so that the mother can go away happy. Any problems with this? Good. Well? No one there. When can we start breaking down specifications? 
You mean for patent application or the product notes? Either. Well, as soon as I'm confident that we can release the first model for full investigation. From the way he's been behaving lately, I'm sure none of us would be very sorry to see him go. That'll be your department, Thomas. Assuming, of course, that you feel as if you're up to it. Just tell me what you need and when. Full works this time. You want sacrifice? Full dissection. Well, if there are going to be any surprises, let's have them now. And not discover them further down the line. But at the moment, we're not even sure how the hybrid enzymes work. We can hardly go commercial on that basis. Questions? Well, when do we go public? Well, we have the deformities to correct. And then we have to get the breeding program up and running. Look, there's only one way to present this, and that's as a fait accompli. Anything less will be shot down before we start. Understood. Right, thank you. Carry on as normal. You know what he is saying. <sighs> he still won't believe. You can understand. I think he doesn't want to. But it doesn't have to be this way. You understand me, Chad? I can't protect you. But you can stay or run whatever you want. It's your choice. What can I do for you? You wouldn't have such a thing as a roll of sellotape. I woke up in the middle of the night, reached to the light switch, bang goes the bedside table. Thanks. Don't you keep spares? It's in my luggage. My luggage is in the car. Windler sent the car away. Bastard. Well, he is. Him and the others. I think there's nothing in life you can't solve without running 15 miles and shouting at it. Are there any developments? You mean, did the beast turn up last night? No. When did you first see it? The first time. Just after it had been... I don't know. Born isn't the word. What did you think? I'd been prepared for it, of course. It looks so human. It almost threw me. Almost? Well, oh, look at what it did here. I'd say that settled any argument forever, wouldn't you? My God, look at me. I hope I don't meet anyone I know. I have to sneak back in the dark when all this is over. By the way, your fellow Carson's been giving us a few headaches. What did he do? He dug up Lyowski. Lyowski's pretending to be a vegetable. Do we have a witness who says otherwise? Where's Carson now? Apparently. He's heading this way, which is fine. Why? 
but he'll run straight into the arms of the glory boy. Pretty good, eh? Is it ready? Only just. We put the new trim on this morning. Alison Wells? Yeah, yeah, I'm a friend of hers. She's pretty tied up at the clinic. She said to come down and uh, pick it up for her and uh, pay for it. Ah, well, look on the bright side. You got free accommodation. A la carte service, all the country walks you could want. What's the Greek island next to that there? Jeez. I'm powerless. What is there for me to do here? Somebody's got to write a report. You keep watching. so soon. Not after what you've been through. I didn't think I had much choice. I'll get no answers out of him. I don't need answers. So what will it get you? Look, I know what you're trying to say. But just look at me. I'm going nowhere. I might as well have been up there with the rest of them. That's the truth of it. I'm just a dead man. Still walking. You should go home. I've been home. Mr. Carson, what am I going to do with you? I don't suppose you've got the faintest idea of the trouble you're causing. I mean, for you, not for me. I'd have thought the message was pretty clear. You were given a fair chance, but no. You couldn't keep your nose out. Just ask yourself one thing. Who does this help? You? Miss Pickford? The relationship was over. And now she's dead and gone. 
So what on earth did you expect to achieve? There was an accident here. The causes have been contained. At no time were members of the public in any danger. These are the facts. Anyone who claims otherwise helps only our enemies. And there's a name for those who help our enemies, Mr. Carson. I want you to take a little time to think about that. He's the Deputy Commissioner for Genetic Control. I'm not sure whether he's Home Office or DTI. They regulate the business here. Mostly they just give it whatever it needs. Nobody quite anticipated this, though. What exactly do you know? All of the background. And none of what happened. What did he mean by enemies? Anybody with a rival claim to a patent? Or people like you? You know about Chad, don't you? Is that his name? I gave it to him. I'm the one who mostly raised him. I taught him to sign. He can't speak, then? Never had the chance. He used to cry a lot as a baby, so Dr. Jenner cut his vocal cords. It was nothing cruel. It's a standard laboratory procedure. I just don't see you in all this. Then don't see me as something I'm not. I was in this from the beginning. I believed in it. But you don't believe in it now. Let's just say I ran out of ambition. So how did you get out here? I uh, stole your car. It's off the road. It was. Um, well, it is now. <sighs> Someone tried to put a stone through the window. You know, by the farm? I mean, near enough where it happened before. He's been watching the road for me. What do you plan to do with Carson? I really don't know. I was hoping you might have some ideas. Not exactly my department. I suppose you couldn't just take him out and lose him somewhere. Like a dog on the motorway. Could you? No. No. Fuse boxes. I'm responsible. I let him out. Why? They were going to carve him up alive. I'd rather he'd got out and died of exposure on the moors. I let him out, and that's how they all died. I thought he'd run. I really thought he'd run. So he knew he was going to die. He must have hated Jenner. I don't think there's anyone in this world he loved more. 
You explain it. I can't. to live? I don't know. He's only ever lived in a cage. You don't understand, do you? Chad was the prototype, but he came too early in the project. Jenna was just keeping him alive until he could perfect the process. I don't think he's here. I think he moved on. You think or you hope? But either way, there's no one around. I think we should look around a bit more. Leave it covered. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe he should burn. Don't be afraid. 
Tad. I know what you've done, but you must be a We'll get these two down to the village. Hey! Hey! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! She can handle him. She's probably the only one who can. Please go home. Come on, Dad. Bingo.
You sit over there and read that, okay? Um, everything's gonna be all right. Lost. Now, this can end one of two ways. It's your choice. We've got the Jenner Clinic killer here, and they don't want him to be tried! What are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do? Mr. Carson. It isn't over yet. It's not over yet.
Well, Dr. Roma, how are we doing? Fine. What do you think of him? Oh, he's perfect. He'll be beautiful when he's fully grown. <laughs> 